Big old extra large shirt and full of this. And yeah. Boy, he'd lay out for three days. You would be able to walk straight for hours. <laughs> our, uh, our proprietor and owner, Pat, who's in the counting house counting his money, even now. Pat probably majored in almost every ma every uh, major offered at the university at one time or another. Sam, who is uh, a neuroscientist and researcher. We have Ed Stanley over there, former Navy man and minister. Uh, now, entrepreneur. Uh, we have many local people. We have people from out of town. We are well known among aficionados of pipe collectors. So, prominent pipe collectors may not get in often, but they get in every so often to check with us, enjoy the ambiance of a, a, a real pipe shop, and see what rare pipes we might have on on because we have 1,000 used pipes in stock at any one time, many of them reconditioned for use, and uh, things that may not be made anymore, things that are of, of incredibly rare quality, of scarcity. And these collectors will check with us periodically to see what we have. Uh, I mean, I'm smoking one right now, so. Cigarette smoking is a nicotine transmission format. It's not like smoking the way Dave and I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't inhale the tobaccos we like because they're just too damn complex and too strong and there's no point in it. They're blended for flavor and bouquet. They are not blended to be sucked into your anatomy like cigarette tobacco is. And since cigarette tobacco is made to be used that way, they have hybridized the leaf over the years to and, and found ways of blending and processing that give you a very thin and comparatively boring smoke because if it weren't thin and it weren't boring you wouldn't be able to stand to inhale it. <laughs> you know, they, they've tamed it down to the point where there's not much of there. Pipes are intrinsically interesting and beautiful objects of, uh, of, of reflection and veneration. Collectible works of art. You know. We have one of the finest pipes one of the finest pipes you can get in the world. I was telling somebody about it last night. Oh, uh, right here. Right here, this is the most extraordinary pipe in the store because it is a composition of, of figural art. You see how crisply delineated the difference is here between the pinpoint ends of grain called bird's eye and the stripy looking grain that's the conventional straight grain? That's all deliberate, it's all extremely difficult to do. It requires at least as high a level of skill as it does inspiration. And so a pipe like this, as a work of art, is worth a great deal of money. We reconditioned the pipes back here as well. On this uh, buffing wheels, you know. We, we buff the stems and refinish the wood, uh, mostly using this. Getting that. Uh, it's pretty dusty.